40inbox.com here and we're going to be checking out this article called I just won the lottery and don't want to share my winnings with my husband which I find to be very very interesting so let's check this out so a woman has taken to the internet to admit that she doesn't want to share her recent lottery winnings with her husband Taken to the popular Am I the A whole forum, she explained that she'd rather spend the prize on solo travel. Which, hey, by the way, keep in mind you guys are legally married. You know? So, however, her husband believes she should put the money into the couple's joint savings. Of course, People had thoughts about the nuances of the dilemma, including whether or not the husband was legally entitled to her winnings or not. The thing is, in most states, and I think in most countries, when you're married, your finances are linked, period. So taken to the thread, user at gasbiscuit-13 recounted their situation with the headline, Am I the A for not sharing my lottery winnings? with my husband, which, by the way, depending on how much money this could potentially be, right, he could technically just divorce her and take them, like, half the money. Keep that in mind, too. So the woman began by explaining that she had recently won the lottery from a scratchy and was very excited. She didn't disclose how much she won, but indicated that it was semi-life-changing money to the tune of tens of thousands of dollars. Immediately, the woman knew that she wanted to use the money to go traveling on an overseas holiday. Her husband, on the other hand, had other ideas and thought she was being unreasonable. He insisted that she should add the money to the couple's joint savings account so that they could continue saving for things like a house and a car. But the woman says, that doesn't seem fair to me since I bought the ticket, scratched it, and cashed it in for the money myself. Ooh, so much hard work in that, you know. We have a joint account, but also separate accounts for spending, she explained. So argued that her winnings were her money and she could do what she likes with it. Her husband has become increasingly upset with her decision. But she stayed firm on her position, and she now wants to know if she's in the wrong or not. My husband isn't owed half of the money just because we are married, she insists. Except for... He kinda is. Like, she's saying, oh, it's not that big of a deal, whatever, you know, $10,000, kinda semi-life-changing money. The reality of the situation, let's say that she would have actually have won... $500,000 $500,000 from a scratch off. Guess what? The hubby could just divorce her and take half of it. I'll just say she won $100 million. Guess what? The hubby can divorce her and take half of it, right? After spending a whole bunch of like legal fees and all that kind of stuff, right? The reality of the situation is that when you are a married couple, your finances are linked up period. Regardless of if you're actually spending money from the same account or not, your finances are linked. Now, the only thing that would potentially prevent that would be like a prenup, and you'd have to preset that, but I doubt that they would have set something up in case of one of them wins the lottery. So most of the commenters agreed that it's a huge issue that she doesn't want to share her winnings with her husband but noted that an even bigger red flag was the fact that she didn't even want him to come traveling with her. Yeah, see, like, there's a lot of red flags within this. It's like, so you don't want to share the winnings with your husband that you're, I don't know, married to? You supposedly love the guy, but you don't want to share money that just came into your life by luck, right? And also, you don't want to spend time with them on your vacation. You want to just go solo travel. You want to be like, hey, bye, hubby. I want nothing to do with you. Like, that just seems crazy to me. 
So the top comment with 15k likes reads, You're the a-hole, and legally, he is entitled to half. Also, you're forgetting the for better or for worse part of marriage. Why would you not celebrate together? Yeah, the first thing that struck me was, Why are you married to this guy if you don't want to share this with him or go traveling with him? Someone echoed. And someone else broke it down like this. Let's review. You don't want to celebrate your winnings with your husband. You certainly don't want to share the winnings with your husband. And you don't want to travel with your husband. Why are you married? And then another person summed it up like this. Why don't you like your husband? A different woman added, I don't know any healthy relationship that wouldn't treat their partner. And I don't know how you could go on a holiday of a lifetime without your partner. And the op also mentioned in the comments that both she and her partner have debts, student loans to pay off. To which someone replied, as if you wouldn't use this money to pay off your loans first. The opportunity to do that will never come around again. Someone else pointed out, your behavior is so selfish, I can understand you buying something frivolous after paying off both your debts. And then this person predicted, he would be smart to divorce her and demand half the money as part of the marital assets. And then someone said that she'll likely be using her winnings on divorce lawyers because her husband will most likely leave her after this. So the legalities in prenups and taxes. One sticking point in the comments was whether or not she bought the scratchy using the joint or personal account. One group member suspected that you bought the ticket using money from the joint account because you would have told us if it had come from your personal account. And another person mentioned that it doesn't matter where the money came from because morally and legally it's a shared asset. But someone else argued that the legality of it depends highly on ops location and whether they have a prenup. One spouse's property is not automatically half of the others everywhere in the world. And then a different person made another valid point. If you are filing taxes jointly, won't he be just as obligated to pay taxes on this money? Hope you're putting some aside for the tax man. If not, I know I'd be pissed if I was your husband. I, can you imagine that being the husband and like your wife basically ditches you, uses the scratch off winnings to like have fun on this crazy trip, and then you are going to basically be dealing with the tax bill at the end of the year. That would be horrendous. So your husband isn't entitled to his own play money. Amongst all the YTAs, just a few people defended the op. <laughs> One person said, I feel like it highly depends on the amount. If it's a small amount, then I don't see why you wouldn't be able to keep the money for yourself and spend it how you like. If you're going to use the money to do something for yourself, by yourself, then it's for you. Husband isn't entitled to his own play money, necessarily. And then this user wrote, I knew a guy who was always talking trash about the lottery and people who play it, but was quick to ask if a winner was treating the group to drinks. If Op's husband is like this, I understand not wanting to share. Let's see some of these comments, and feel free to give your own thoughts if you stumble upon this. Rosary, how did you make that jump? Okay, so... So he wants to put the money in savings to buy a house or car in the future. She wants to take a trip by herself. Sounds to me like this marriage is over and the husband is clueless. If I were the husband, I would file for divorce, take my cut, and run. The thing is, right, there is so many red flags within this relationship that the smartest thing to do for both of them is to get a divorce. But the guy should probably tank all these red flags as hints and be like, hmm, my wife doesn't want to spend time with me. My wife doesn't want to enjoy a winning of a good amount of sum with me. And also, she thinks that all of our money, basically, in a sense, that like, What's mine is mine, what's yours is yours, and then what we decide together is together. It's like, it's very sporadic. So, he should probably take the hint and just leave.
So tens of thousands means less than 100k. I'm solidly middle class and would love to come into that kind of money, but with no house, student loans, and other debts, I wouldn't consider it life-changing, maybe just a good start for the future. Like the reality is, depending on how much money it is, let's say tens of thousands, let's just say probably after tax, like what probably happened, right, is that she probably won slightly over $100,000, but after taxes, we'll probably clear about 50k. 60k right depending on your location that could be a very healthy down payment for a house right which would be perfect it would be amazing for a married couple but if you want to just go below that on something that's a consumable like travel like, oh, I want to go travel, even though I got a whole bunch of student loan debt. Oh, I want to go travel without my husband instead of putting down a down payment on a home for both of us and our future kids. Like, it's kind of weird and extremely selfish. Maybe it's a good thing he found out now that she's not wife material. Unless she could trace the purchase to funds she held before marriage, the lottery winnings would be deemed marital assets, and the husband would be entitled to half. The fact that she purchased the ticket from a personal account would not in and of itself establish that the ticket was solely hers. If any of the money in that personal account was added post-marriage, it would be impossible to show that the money spent was not a joint asset. And again, like, here's the thing. Like, this would be a completely different situation. Let's say, for example, the wife, before she got married, bought a scratch-off ticket and won the lottery. Let's just say $2 million after tax. She wins the lottery. Well, if that's the case, she would create a prenup and basically state it within the prenup saying like, hey, all of our assets before marriage are our own and if something were to happen as if if we were to get divorced all of the assets that we had previous to marriage still belong to us individually like you could easily just set something up like that but she bought it after they're married give them half and get a divorce the end This person called Maggie, do not put it into joint savings. Take your trip and no, he did not win. You won. Stand strong. Lord. So exactly how many years has it been since you've been on a date? Wow, doesn't she sound like a keeper? If the dude was smart, he'd leave. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just thought that was kind of interesting because like, to me, if I were to be married, why would I not want to share the winnings with my partner? That just seems really weird to me. Like, say you win $2 million. Like, well, I'm not going to share that with the person that I decided to marry? What? That just seems stupid to me. By the way, if you want to learn how to get a debt, go to 40 or go down below. And stay tuned for more financial commentary.